Hi guys, it's Tara, Monster I Love Me, and today's video is just going to be going over all the Monster High stuff that has happened this week. There is some stuff that I'm going to save for like a full video just because there's a lot of information that I want to talk about, but with the topics today, let's just get on with it. Alright, so first we got some new photos and video of the 2022 Comic-Con exclusive Frankie Stein. Of course, this doll will be at the Comic-Con convention, but you can also get it at Mattel Creations website. And it's been two days since this doll has been announced, and as I'm filming this right now, we still do not have a price. I don't know why Monster High keeps doing this to us. They are like gatekeeping the price at this point. I wish they would just say the price right when they announce the doll. So that's frustrating, but hopefully by the time this is uploaded, we get a price because this goes on sale in two days. And here comes the scalpers. Since this is a Comic-Con exclusive, they're not going to make a lot of these dolls. This doll is probably going to sell out in minutes, if not seconds. And what's so frustrating is that a lot of us aren't going to be able to get this doll because of scalpers also known as resellers. They make multiple accounts to buy as many of the dolls as possible, taking them from people who actually want the dolls just so they can sell them for five to six times the price. Like look at this listing, $500 for the Comic-Con doll that they don't even have. They don't even know if they're gonna be able to get the doll because like us, they're competing with other scalpers as well. So I guess all of us who are gonna try and get the doll on the 22nd, let's just set our alarms and pray. That's really all we can do. Something I noticed from Mattel's video talking about the new doll is that they actually used she, her pronouns for Frankie. We gave Frankie her iconic white, black, and silver shimmer shine hair. Even in the comments, they're using she, her pronouns. As we know, 2022 Frankie in the movie uses they, them pronouns and in the animated series. So I guess since this is a Gen 1 style doll, they're calling Frankie she. And believe me, I know we are talking about pronouns for a doll here. It is pretty weird, but I think it is important because it kind of sets a standard for the real world. Also, it is just kind of confusing to me because I do make a lot of content referring to Frankie. So I'm trying to like figure out when and where to refer to Frankie as she, her versus they, them. Steve Valentine, who plays Dracula in the Monster High the movie, posted a small behind the scenes clip. <laughs> Speaking of the movie, they released a lyric video for the first song they've officially released entitled The Three of Us. I'm also suspecting maybe before the movie releases, they'll release another song like Coming Out of the Dark, since that song has been played in all of the teasers and the trailers. Now let's talk about Nick Fest, which is taking place between October 22nd and October 23rd. If you look at the bottom, it says there's going to be an exclusive performance by the stars of Monster High. So I'm guessing the three main singers, the actors that play Frankie, Claudine, and Draculaura are going to be there. Now what we know for sure is Nia Damison is going to be there and Nia plays Draculaura in the film because she is also in a girl group affiliated with Nickelodeon. Okay, so I went on their website to try and find more information about this Nickfest. So Monster High will be there on the second day, which is Sunday, October 23rd. Tickets are $115 each. That's pretty expensive. <laughs> and it's going to be taking place in Los Angeles. Tickets go on sale July 26th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I'm all the way in Seattle, so I'm not going to drive 19 hours to California to watch it. But I'm sure a lot of other Monster High fans will be there to take photos and videos. And I would love for you guys to send them to me if you guys do go. I definitely am pretty jealous that I don't live in California anymore because I'm also missing out on San Diego Comic-Con as well. Okay, so oh my gosh, are we getting new adult Halloween costumes for 2022? As we get closer to Halloween, several spirit Halloween stores are opening up across the country trying to set up for the holiday. Now, I'm not sure if spirit Halloween is like a worldwide thing, so if you're not American and don't know what this is, spirit Halloween is just a Halloween store that comes out in the summer and lasts through fall. So several spirit Halloween stores have this Monster High poster on the outside. YouTuber Spooks and Such did a video looking at the outside of the Spirit Halloween, and you can clearly see a Monster High poster. Now, Spirit Halloween having Monster High costumes is nothing unusual. They've had Monster High costumes since 2010. However, here are the 2010 costumes for reference. 
Now these costumes are totally different and they are modeled by adults, not children. Here's a comparison from the 2010 Monster High costume to supposedly the 2022 costume. So the vest is different, the choker is different, and it's definitely more revealing in the chest area. Now for the other two characters, Claudine and Frankie, we don't get super clear visuals of them, but pretty much all Spirit Halloween stores are going to be open by the end of this month. So we should be finding out pretty soon what these are going to look like. Also, just in case you're wondering, these costumes are not yet on the Spirit Halloween site. The only Monster High stuff on the Spirit site right now is a Caddy Noir wig, a Claudine wig, and a Monster High bag. Halloween is absolutely my favorite time of the year, and I actually do celebrate Halloween all year round. Like, I have spooky decor in my room literally 24-7. Combine Halloween with Monster High, you best believe I'm going to buy everything in Spirit Halloween this year. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. This is my Instagram for more in real time updates. My TikTok is the same username as well. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video.